Um, usually plays Stark, so it's not surprising for him to go Banner of the Wolf here. Um, first time I've seen him play Martell, however. As for John, I did play him earlier today. He beat me to knock me out, so I am familiar with that deck. Right, uh, very familiar. Similar to similar to my own Targaryen fealty, but with some, you know a number of differences. Do you think he's running three copies of a Drakaris? Oh, you know, wouldn't be Targaryen without it. <laughs> so John is a very well known uh, player. He has won a number of store championships. Uh, he's also he also won the inaugural King's Moot in 2016, right. which of course is the uh, famous tournament held at Good Games me? Hurstville. Uh, player run, player organized tournament. Do you know who runs that tournament? Uh, I believe it's a guy by the name of Adam Kohler. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we see they both have pretty decent setups and good chads on board. And Bill starting off with Harnall, which is pretty good to start with. Mm. Not sure how John can play around that. Not, I don't know if he has location hate, nightmares. Uh, it's going to be a big pain for him. That Harren Hall, which of course kills a character when it enters play. Yep. Heads on Spike's first turn with uh, Bill. Wow. Okay. Blood of the Dragon kills two characters immediately. Yep, and John has discarded a card. Let's see what you get. Fire and Blood. I think John will take that. But was that what trigger? Was that Heads on Spike trigger? Or was that a. Oh, uh, okay. I think he might have forgotten Oh, he might have forgotten about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good call, good call. So it seems that... Oh, no. He's got it here. So that was the that was the first one. Oh, wow, another two Fire and blood. blood. All right, so it doesn't really matter what trigger it was because there's two Fire and Bloods gone. Wow. One from the Bastard Daughter, one from Heads on Spikes. I guess we might not be seeing that. Now, Bill here has a number of pretty good cards in hand. He's got a ward to uh, steal one of John's characters. He's got a Frozen Solid to take care of those... Problematic locations, yep. Plaza of Pride, Plaza of Punishment. Let's take a look at these decks here. Um, for the plots, uh, Bill has Counting Coppers, Valor, Two Marched, a Battle of Blackwater, Building Orders, and Heads on Spikes. Uh, very unique plot deck. John has a pretty standard Targaryen plot deck with Counting Coppers, Blood of the Dragon, March to the Wall, Valor, Winds of Winter, Time of Plenty, and interestingly, Littlefinger's Little Meddling. Meddling. What do you that make of my, that? That was one of my favorite cards. I think it's a great card. Um, especially with uh, Dragon is No Slave. It is a pretty expensive event. Mm. Um, and if you can have if you have more than one in hand, Littlefinger's Meddling can, will allow you to play two for free. Absolutely. Quite a good, uh, quite a good card that uh, mm. works well with event-heavy decks. Looks like... John is going first, counting two gold. Number of good cards in hand. Dragon is no slave. Looks like a Miri, a Jogo, Cal Drogo, a Drogon. Is that three venomous blades in his hand? I think it is. Wow. All right. This is a very he character hate heavy deck. Seems. Yeah, seems Especially that Especially with that double marched. When I heard that... Uh, Martel Banner of the Wolf had made the top four. I thought it might be a copycat of an old Martel Wolf deck uh, that was run by Seth Lowe in the United States. It was okay. actually a rush deck using Ariane Martel to cheat in Great John's Vanguard, if you remember that card. Renown in the first three rounds. Oh, right. Wow. Yeah. So clearly it's a very, very different deck. More of a character control, character hate deck. He's played Ward here. Stealing Sir Jorah. Sir Jorah Mormont. And see that John John did pass pass marshalling because he was afraid of that iron hole and also I guess didn't have enough gold for anything. Yeah, don't think he could have marshaled much. He does have dragon is no slave, but Bill may have wasted all of his money, bar one, on the ward. <sighs> is frozen solid non limited location? I'm pretty sure. Just check that. I'm 90% sure that uh, Frozen Solid is a non-limited location, three cost or lower. Yep. So I didn't quite catch what challenge he's doing, but he's decided to kneel one of the dragons.
Yep, non limited for Frozen Solid. Okay, and no, that's why you didn't play on the Grey Half. So that was a mill challenge? Oh, I see, because Jorah's at minus one. So he does the military challenge, Jorah dies straight away. Ward is off. Quaith of the Shadow going in for an intrigue challenge. And he gets an unopposed claim of one. Mm. And if you're watching on this stream, feel free to drop a comment or a question in the uh, Twitch chat. We're always happy to answer questions that you might have about this game in particular, or a Game of Thrones, the card game in general. Turn ends. Now they're checking their reserve. Mm. John will have to discard at least one card. Miri and gone for the Venomous. Yeah, Miri and Jogo. Venomous Blade is gone, of course, for Bill. Miri is a card that doesn't see much play anymore, considering how ubiquitous she was about a year ago. Yes. People did complain that Targaryen were too overpowered when she came out. Perhaps Banner of the Dragon was too overpowered. Possible. But it seems that Targaryen are making their comeback. Alright, we have building orders and time of plenty for players here. Bill is searching the top 10 cards of his deck for an attachment or location. What might he be looking for? He already has the Harren Hall. Not quite sure. Maybe he's looking for some essential econ that he needs. King's Roads. Maybe a Gaston. Possible. Both players will, of course, draw three cards after this, thanks to Time of Plenty. So we see two Blood Orange Groves, potential targets, there's and... A, there's a Varus in there. I mean, obviously you can't fetch that with a plot, but good to know that good it's in the deck. Good to see, and it fits that uh, character hate theme, really. Mm. He does pick up an, an economy location. Alright, both players drawing three. Okay. Your faction. Play one more. Hopefully, it's A. That's the main A. And. Oh, I'm going to play one more. I'm going to play one more. I'm going to play one more. Because one goes back. Players discussing the, uh, mm. the effect of Slaves Bay here in Chinese. Mm -hmm. At least one. Play three more. Jogo hits the field. <laughs> Looks like he didn't need that second Jogo. Unless he just drew him. Hands Judgment, Drogon. So how many how many cards does Bill have in his dead pile at the moment? He has two? Just I two, see. yeah. So Jogo is now at five strength? What is his base, stre base strength? Uh, I believe three. it's three. So he should be at five. Yes, at five when he's attacking, although he's now dead. So Harren Hall has killed Jogo. Right. And John has passed Ashley. Oh, no, he's not. Drogo. I think Bill counted his gold a little bit too early there. Yep. Okay, two dragons and quaith. Let's see what Bill can, can muster up. Got a bastard daughter, green blood trader. I believe they're called. Yep. Unless you look at the top two cards of your deck, you can pick one, put one on the bottom, the other. <laughs> two economy the locations. Room. Don't think he's uh, too impressed to see those, to be honest. Yep. Might be looking for more hard hitting characters. He does have a little finger in there, and what looks like the guy that um, denies people gaining gold in the challenges phase. A devout free rider. That's right. I guess he's expected to see a lot of land in this tournament. Mm. The Vat Frida won't be doing much, but it is a body that he can get on the board. He really does need that body right now. Unfortunately, if, if he has no mill mil icons, John can just make quick work of them. I think John will be looking to play Cal Drogo next turn with Harren Hall gone.
Venomous Blade comes out. Quaith. Poison token. So she'll be dead at the end of the phase. Venomous Blade, of course, hits character's strength 2 or lower. When it comes into play. Yep. And then at the end of the phase, they die. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate that he drew all three in the beginning of the turn. So let's, let's draw for uh, crucial characters. Which we're seeing now with just a green blood on the board. Now that is an illegal play. It's a limited location. I wonder if John will no, pick this no, up. No, no. Nope. Yep. There we go. So luckily he picked it up. No problems. A good catch. So... This is that. Yeah. Um, dies to the poison token. Dragon comes in for the military. And Green Blood is dead. Yep. So John's board is not particularly massive, but he is doing work on Bill. Bill made a sizable investment on that Heron Hole. Yeah. Not sure if killing Jogo was worth it, but it didn't seem like he had many other options considering the characters in his hand. Hmm. What do you think he needs, Bill needs to do to come back? Doesn't seem like he's in a good state at the moment. He needs to find good characters. He's got a little finger, he's got a free rider, but he needs like a decent, you know, five plus cost character to, mm. maybe with a keyword, to do some work here. And a mill icon. Let's see what he's got in his deck. Now, just having a look at his deck, he does have Varus, although that's not really going to help him now with just two characters on John's board. He's got Maester Calliot, Syria. He does have Jack and Hagar. So now it's the end of the challenge phase. Um, Bill has decided to discard that little finger, which means it's one less character to put on board. Okay, I'm not sure that was the right move. Really, um, Bill's most expensive character is Jack and Hagar. One of the few times I actually see him in competitive play. Hmm. Do you rate that character? It's a decent character. Um, it definitely got a lot better with the Last of the Giants, where you can put a, ca a neutral character into play. Yep. And then at the end of the phase, um, if they're still in play, you kill them. Um, and it's a good surprise kill, where when Jack and enters play, you put three poison tokens on unique characters. Valor yeah. tokens. Oh, well, excuse me. <laughs> Now, Bill here has played Cannon Coppers. I thought he might play March to get rid of one of those dragons, but seems he's in dire need of cards, or at least quality cards. Some good characters would be nice. See a hand judgment. There's the jacket. Oh, there's the jacket. And the last of the giants. I didn't catch that. Yep, there it is. And a Calliot. John drew a put to the torch. And he obviously flipped Little Fingers meddling. Yep. So see there, Bill decided. Uh, I think he decided to go second in this case, um, and then now he can take advantage of Jacan, uh, Jacken, excuse me, and Lassa Giants for a surprise kill. He has to win the challenge with Jacken though, for the kill. That's true. But again, uh, since it's a surprise, mm. John might not play around it. That's true. These two players do know each other well, outside of uh, Thrones though. So I wonder how much knowledge they have of each other's decks mm. and whether they played each other earlier today. So there we saw John uh, reveal Little Fingers meddling and we do know he has quite a few events in hand. He's got to put to the torch, he's got a dragon as no slave. So they're all effectively free. Does Dragon is no slave kill when it hits zero? No, it does not. That's why a lot of uh, Targaryen players combine it with Blood of the Dragon, or even a Dracarys to kill a six strength character. Well, that might just work with uh, Jacken, but unfortunately, it doesn't look like he has Dracarys. That's right. And unfortunately, Bill doesn't seem to have any characters on board. Yeah. He seems to be deliberating over either Calliot. Or the, um, or the bastard daughter. I think you might be asking about the Plaza of Punishment. Okay. You see that on the board. If John wins a power challenge, he chooses a character and gives a minus two strength, two strength, and they die if they are at zero.
And if you're just joining us, a reminder that we are live from 3D6 in Tugranong in the ACT for the uh, ACT regionals for a Game of Thrones LCG. We're here in the top four semi-finals. Two Sydney players have travelled down, John Hu and Bill Wren, each playing Targaryen and Martell respectively. Mm -hmm. As Bill continues to deliberate on his marshalling phase, he marshals nothing. Yep. Okay. And John's looks like he's swinging in for two unopposed challenges. Although we did miss it, but uh, Bill decided to play um, okay. ice. Not ice. Frozen solid. Frozen solid. It has ice in the art. That's what I thought. Yes. Now, if you have any questions about the game or about this regional today, feel free to leave a message in the Twitch chat. There you go, there's the entry claim. Free rider gone. John having a read of a, a lesser played card. Yep, like many of us, we've rarely seen that card in play. And there we go, we see the combo that we were speaking about earlier. Last yep. of the Giants to put a check in. Okay, and he's cancelled it with Hands Judgment. Wow. Big, big play. Oh, oh. And Hands Judgment back. Oh, oh my the god! And the fourth. What the? <laughs> That is unreal, folks. Bill played last of the Giants to get Jack and Hagar in in this challenges phase. Now, John should have two less gold because he cancelled with the first hand's judgment. Bill cancelled back with another hand's judgment. That's right. John cancelled back with another hand's judgment. And then Bill came with the second Cancel. hand's judgment. And that was the end of that. Unbelievable. I don't think Bill has remembered to put the... Thought of Margulis tokens on. I'm yep. sure you remember. So we have two illegal game states here. John has missed out on... Oh, no, no. He didn't need to remove the gold because of the Littlefingers yes, meddling. Yes, that's right. Good catch. But Bill needed to put in Valor Margulis tokens when he came into play. Now that he's missed that, if he wins a challenge, nobody will die. Unless, of course, it's a military challenge. Goes for the power challenge. Oh, but... Seems that John has allowed him to kill the character. Play sportsman like. I don't know, man. You gotta remember your triggers. <laughs> this is the Canberra Regionals. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the phase, Bill has to kill Jack. Yep. So, Bill does have four characters in his dead pile now. Flips the marched. Uh, Regal gone. Boards back to being empty. Yep. Six power to three. Going into the fourth round, I believe, fifth round. Mm -hmm. You have four, ca uh, four cards in dead pile, so I can yeah. mm. Yep, an unfortunate event, uh, consequence of having to kill Jacken. John's uh, Slaver's Bay port is now activated, mm -hmm. and he gains an extra gold. the uh, Plaza of Pride coming down for for John. He will need characters though to make use of it. Do you think that Plaza of Pride is what pushed Targaryen into uh, Tier 1? Definitely that, uh, with a bunch of other new cards, including the new economy, okay. has helped Targaryen significantly. That's mm. why we see it here in the top 4. Martel, I'm a little bit more surprised, but we'll see how it pans out. There it goes. I mean, Bill has played very few characters, and he's not too far behind. Cal Drogo. Reduced by Fealty, Great Hall, and a bunch of gold. John's got one gold left. Typical uh, Targaryen phase into the challenge phase. One gold. True, but he doesn't have a dragon. <laughs> That's true. That is a critical uh, card. And of course, uh, because we saw the two Fire and Bloods early on in the game, Bill shouldn't be too worried about any shenanigans putting mm. him into play. John, who is running three Fire and Bloods, but 
the likelihood of seeing the third one is low. Now, looks like he's got a Bran Stark, a Bastard Daughter, Caliot, and two Venus Blades. Blades. So not the, the best character lineup, but considering he's been successful in uh, wiping out some of these characters. Let's see what he does here. I think Bill will be looking to play the Iron Throne. Because even if he doesn't have any characters, he uh, can still stay in the game. As Iron Throne gives 8 strength during dominance. And that's not right. guarantee a dominance win. All but guarantee it. That's right. So Bill march, uh, marshals in the Venomous Blade to kill off the uh, Targaryen Loyalist. Now Khal Drogo seems to be only the only character left in play, or will be the only character left in play during the challenge phase. And then from there, Bill can use a second march to the wall. As I was about to say, yes, he does have a second march. So I think whatever uh, Bill does here, it just shouldn't really matter because Drogo will be marched. Of course, if Drogo goes in for the attack, uh, he'll be kneeling when the Bastard Daughter attacks, but of course he does have Plaza of Pride. That's right. That's the Loyalist gone, killed by the Venom's Blade. So we see John still has one march, a Valor, and Winds of Winter left in his pot pile. Pot deck. John deliberating heavily on this challenges phase. Deciding whether to go for a military or power. Power will get him closer to the uh, win condition, but the military will get rid of at least one of Bill's characters. I think he should go for the military here. Keep that ball. Not sure. You see him looking at his hand, John. I think he's worried about uh, Bassett's daughter getting rid of some important cards. Dragon is no slave. Jora looks like another loyalist put to the torch. Done. So it seems John has passed his challenges. Not really sure why that is because Bill could go in with a power challenge, strip Drogo of the military icon, and effectively kill Drogo yeah. with the bastard daughter. I don't think he's. Re I don't think he's realized. Or he might. John might be forced to let him win this challenge. Let's see if he catches up. Wow! And he blocks it. What do you think of that play? Possible mistake from John, but. And there you go. Okay. He's dead. Well, it looks like he's... Uh, I'm not sure that was a mistake. I think he might be looking to play Valor next turn. He does have Valor in his plot deck. Um, he's got to play it eventually, so... Might as well play it when you have no characters on the board. I suppose. So he's got Marched, he's got Valor. There you go. And the Winds of Winter.
On the other hand, we have Battle of Blackwater. Marched. I can't see that other plot. Battle of Blackwater to Valor. So Mr. Kelly up, Bastard Daughter is dead, and again Bastard Daughter the Interrupt. Let's him discard a card random. See what he gets. I think he'd be pretty happy with that. Yeah, that's not too bad. In his hand. With all the econ, he wants as many characters as he wants. Looks he like a get. Viserys. Something else. And a Viserion. You see Bill's drawn into that second Harren Hall. Yep. He's got two Iron Thrones, two Poisonous Blades, Venomous Blades, sorry, and a Bran Stark. So, not a character heavy hand by any stretch of the imagination, but some key cards there looking to minimize John's board presence. Mm -hmm. And it seems to be working for Bill. Bill with very few characters on board, not really any big uh, game changing characters. He's on four power compared to John's six. We've seen that this deck by Bill is uh, clearly very good at stalling, but the question remains, can he close the game out? Mm. With no card like Chamber of the Painted Table or The Wall, it's very very difficult to see how he might be able to to close the game out. Obviously a card like Boneway may help. Just looking at his deck list now, and it does not look like he has the bone way. No, it seems his win condition is just uh, the Iron Throne. And he's, he has drawn both of them. And perhaps a flurry of late characters. Hmm. Viserys and Viserion both hit the board for John. Just some chuds to populate the board to stop this unopposed going through. Um, of course, Bill only has Bran, but he could play the Venomous Blade on Bran. Get rid of that dragon. Mm -hmm. Or he could set up the Harren Hall for next turn. That is true. Let's see what he does. He can play Bran and Harren Hall, or Harren Hall and the Iron Throne. That's right. He does have enough gold. Yep, Harren Hall does hit the field. Along with the Iron Throne, Iron so Throne, Bill is playing the long game here. Looking to set up for next turn, acquire dominance this turn, and perhaps kill a key character moving forward to the last two rounds of the game. I mean, that this, is, this is a good turn to set up for next round because John does have uh, Valor out, which is zero claim, so he can't really make too much of an impact other than getting unopposed power. Well, there is a small mistake here because it seems like Bill lost the power to claim. Right. Yep, okay, and he's got, he's got it back the, there. Yep. Well, actually, no, he took it back for Dom. Oh, okay. I think Bill m might have made a mistake there. Yeah. He should really be on five pal. Oh, no, oh he's there got we it go. Here. Yeah, okay, yep. here we go. There we go. It's good to see ca uh, players uh, on top of their game. Mm. Of course, it is both players' responsibility to ensure that. Uh, that uh, unopposed power and dominance power and so on is mm -hmm. awarded. Uh, we have got news from the other semi-final that Andrew Sinfield is through to the final. Andrew, of course, won his top eight game. Uh, we we watched it live on this live stream. Yep. Targaryen, Lord of the Crossing. Were you su are you surprised that he made the final? Not really. Like I said, I've always thought Targaryen were going to do really well in this tournament with cards like Plaza, Plaza of Pride, Dragon is no Slave. Shouldn't have, not surprised at all. Now, of course, if John manages to claw his way back, well, not claw his way back, he is, of course, ahead in power, but to capitalize on Bill's board position, we could be seeing an all Targaryen final yep. at the uh, 2017 ACT Regional. That's very interesting. The uh, interaction between two, ca two players with Dracarys should be very, very interesting to watch. He's checking out the discard pile. Hand, hands Judgment there left from the uh, the great flurry of Hands Judgment exchanges <laughs> early in the game.
slot six. Valor. 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 Wins it. John allowing Bill to go first. Okay. So Viserys removes the attachment, mm. the frozen solid from Plaza of Punishment. Draws into Fire and Blood. Oh, see the third one there. Which uh, will help him significantly. Only one goal to get one of those dragons back from his dead pile. I think he has Drogon. I think he has all three dragons in the dead pile. If I'm not mistaken. No, one did, did get marched. Oh, there we go. So, John will be looking to take care of this to claim, but Bill does play Gaston Grey. <laughs> Yet another stalling card. Yep, just trying to prevent his opponent from playing cards. And we should note that Harren Hall is actually a counter to Fire and Blood, because Harren Hall is not a marshalling action, it is just a regular action. Very true, Harren Hall reads that when a character comes into play, uh, kneel your faction card and sacrifice Harren Hall to kill, to kill that character. Yep. Yeah. So ambushing, coming into play during the challenges phase, coming into play through an event, anything of that nature, Harren Hall will take care of. Be inter interesting to see what John plays here, with just three gold to play with. From the plot, at least. Well, he does have Slaver's Bayport activated as well. By a significantly large dead pal. I think Bill can afford to essentially use Heron Hall and just about any character that comes in to avoid that, uh, that two claim. Bran Stark, of course, cancel that uh, that fire and blood that he has in his hand, and a dupe of the Iron Throne. Uh, take two. Neil one, Neil two. For another slave to take pot, and take two more. <laughs> Just rolling in money here. <laughs> But he still doesn't have enough gold to counter the Iron Throne, if he wanted, uh, if he wanted to. So Targaryen Loyalist successfully enters play without dying. And John passes. Looks it's like he's... Six gold. I think uh, John is content to win the attack, hmm. the power challenge, one-on-one -on -one with Bran Stark. Loyalist will, of course, win that one. Critical two claim. Well, although if I was John at the moment, I'd probably drag him as no slave that Bran Stark. We'll see if Bran attacks first. Zero claim. John deliberating whether, whether to use Dragon is no slave. Basically fizzle that uh, that power challenge. Yeah, so he doesn't give Bill any unopposed power. Bill is not at risk of winning, but any power he does gain just uh, slows the game down further for John. And this is a game that is at risk of going to time. Mm -hmm. Just 19 minutes left on the clock. That's right. And the power count at 8 to 5. Dragon is no slave comes down on Bran Stark. He doesn't die, but the challenge does fizzle. Bill is thinking about cancelling the event. Although that does seem a bit pointless at this moment. Yeah. And he does cancel it. Not sure what the point of that was. Cancelling the event discards Bran anyway, which cancels, which fizzles the challenge. The challenge. And, well, now he can play Fire and Blood. He can put a dragon I think, in. I think that was a critical mistake from, yep. from, from Bill. Although, remember the Harren Hall. We'll see if he picks up on that. Let's we'll see. John has prompted him. He asked him, is there any reactions? Okay. 
Tears of Lease and another two Venomous Blades in Bill's hand. I can't see no. how Bill can continue to stall this game with no conceivable way to win. Mm. You see there, Bill did not uh, decided not to harm or Two claim power challenge. Up to 10 power, 11 power. Be an unopposed military as well, plus Dom. I think John will end this round on 13 power. And Bill on 3. Oh, Iron Throne. Oh, that's right, yes. So, Bill will win dominance, at least. Yep. But, um... It seems John there was reminding Bill about uh, Gaston Gray. John's a very sportsman-like player. That's pretty good. That's always nice to see. Very nice player to come up against. Last plots of the game. March oh, and double March. Well, I suppose John's not too upset about that since it's just two That's right. cheap characters. But but he's lost so many characters; they might be crucial. Yep. It does Although mean it does mean that he's back to an empty board. But he does have the gold to play out characters, and he's got claim. Aaron Hall does loom. Bill here heavily deliberating on whether to use Harren Hall on Magister Illyria, who just entered play. And he does see that John still does have five gold. So even if he were to kill Illyria with Harren Hall, he could possibly play another character. He has Jorah in hand, but Jorah's already dead. He didn't quite catch what else he has in hand. Can you see what's that in Bill's hand? He's got two venomous blades. A uh, wildling scout and an ocean road and a tears. Right. So I think wildling scout is his only character. Right. Well, which means that... Okay, so he hasn't... He's decided not to kill Illyrio with Harren Hall, which will mean probably an unopposed power challenge. If he can stand Illyrio with Plaza of Pride, Kill the Wildling Scout with a Plaza of Punishment. We could see the game end here. Yep. I feel that Bill has made a number of mistakes that have Cost kind of yeah, snowballed into John being in this position. Can we cut him Yes, that will be an unopposed power. Yep. And then the power claim. He'll be on 14. I believe Illyria can also stand himself. Yeah. Oh, hang on, there's Gaston here. Oh, that's right. Yep. So he will get the claim. I have reaction. That's the Wilding Scout dead. And he decides to Gaston. Yep. But Probably. John will still be getting the unopposed and the power claim. Probably a good idea, yeah. Bill gets dominance. John is now one power away from reaching the final of the ACT regional here at 3D6. Should be exciting. John has made it to quite a few finals before. Seems to be quite a decent player. I believe he won two store championships this season. Plots have now been reset, with the exception of the two marches that you see there. What do you think is Bill thinking now? What plot could he use to uh, bring the bring back the game? Well, he's got another march which won't do him any good. Valor won't do him any good. 
You could go for a heads on spikes or a building orders or a counting coppers. Mm. Battle of Blackwater doesn't do him any good either. So he's very, very limited in his options. I think he'll go for the heads on spikes play. I mean, he does know Illyria is in hand. And if I did catch that, John only has two cards in hand. One of which must be Jora, who is dead. Given Heron Hall is in play, John really just needs to play two characters. If one dies to Heron Hall, he can hopefully get a challenge off with the other to win the game. Bill deliberating, hev deliberating heavily on this plot selection here. Counting coppers, building orders, heads on spikes, we believe, are his only real valid options. Yeah. The other plots won't be doing much. And you know this is a pretty important plot phase. Um, this could be the round that uh, decides the winner. And we see there John checking his phone. Well, it Seems is to be quite comfortable with his plot pick. A significant delay. Here we have it, building orders, counting coppers. Right, John is just looking for characters to play. That's all he needs. So it is a shrewd selection from John. Wonder what Bill is looking for here. He's got another, another Gaston. Gaston. Another Heron Hall. Mm. I'm not sure either of those can uh, rescue him from this situation. Yeah. Because with Gaston, he does have to lose the challenge. Indeed. The claim and unopposed will apply. So the Gaston may not be relevant. Not sure what he was looking for, really. Uh, okay, so John has already drawn his three cards. He drew into Danny, Crown of Gold, and something else, which I didn't catch. I think it's a... It was a plaza, plaza uh, of pride. Yeah. The dupe of the location. So does he have enough gold to play Illyrio and Danny? Because they know who, if he plays Danny, she's a prime target for Heron Hall. Be a mistake if he doesn't kill her. It'll be very interesting to see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He does have enough gold for both. Right. By my count. Um, Although I'm seeing five gold. And Danny is six. Mm. Six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. No, he doesn't. He's one gold short. Very unfortunate for John. Another round essentially I gone to waste. I think John may have made a mistake with that Great Hall. Kneeling Great Hall for uh, Illyria. Whereas Illyria reduces him by 1. Whereas if he had used it for Danny, it would have reduced her by 2. Oh, I see. So you think he could have got both out? Yep. <laughs> yeah, you're right, on second count, if uh, John had used the Great Hall, it seemed like they both passed on challenges, so going to the next plot phase, John stands his cards, yeah. It's not a game-losing play, but John will certainly be frustrated at yeah. himself for not kneeling the correct economy locations to play Danny and Magister Illyria in the same round. Counting coppers for Bill. Time of plenty for John. So John. Bill is still fishing cards. Yep. Drawing three, and then two for the draw phase. He, Bill's hand is pretty atrocious. Two Venomous Blades, last of the Giants, and two Tears of Lease. Can't do much with that. Especially when you don't have any characters in hand. Yep. I think he's just prolonging the inevitable. Let's see if he gets anything here. Some discussion taking place. So Bill should draw six. John will draw three.
Okay. Some confusion about how many cards Bill will be drawing. Three cards from Counting Coppers, three cards from Time of Plenty. I guess you're never really used to drawing that many cards in one go. Card draw is great, isn't it? <laughs> Two. Let's see what John Marshall is. Just about swimming in gold. He can afford to play Denny. No Harren Hall in play. Okay. So John has decided to go for more gold? Really an obscene amount of gold here. Plus the faction card Neil for Fealty. Okay. There we go. I think he's got Rattle Shirt Raiders there as well. And John now seems to be flooding the board with characters, and it looks like it might be over. Well, John just needs one power, doesn't he? Unopposed challenge. Not sure if Bill drew into any characters. I didn't quite see what he uh, what he got with his six cards. Just over five minutes left on the clock. John should be able to see out this game before we hit time. Now, what are the rules on time if you're in the uh, elimination match? So, a essentially a modified win counts as a full win right. in the top cut. So just like in the Swiss, if you had a timed win, a modified win, uh, you would get four points instead of five. Uh, in the top cut, it's essentially like you had a win and the other guy got eliminated, yeah. Okay. So, it's never nice to lose by time, but, you know, due to time constraints of it the does, venue, it does have to happen. can't stay open forever, so... Although some people wish for good. Indeed. So yeah, 55 minute rounds for the uh, the top cut with the exception of the final which is a little bit longer. 60 minutes? 65? Uh, no. no, no, no. It's almost two hours, I think. Okay. By a little bit, I meant a lot. John back on his phone as Bill deliberates what he's going to do with his four gold. I mean, John is in a quite comfortable position at the moment. Doesn't have to worry. I'm not sure what Bill can do here besides flooding the board with characters. We see some no shock support from the chat, and yes, yes. Bill, Bill does concede. Alright, so it did seem like John was slowly crawling towards that 15 power the whole game, but also Bill was man did manage to kill quite a few characters, discard a few characters. Yeah, look, Bill's deck did what it does best, which is stall. Uh, kill characters, discard characters, bounce characters back to hand. But, you know, you still have a game to win, even if you do that. Yep. The game doesn't end with, with characters with characters uh, dying and being discarded. Uh, you still need to hit 15 power. 